Welcome back everyone to Isis Education's Guitar 101. And here we're going to begin lesson two. This lesson is a bit of a concise lesson as compared to the first lesson. In the first lesson, we got a bit of our foundation by learning about the guitar parts, learning about what makes up the fretboard, and learning about the string order of the guitar. If you want a bit of a reminder, we have E, A, D, G, B, E. Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie. That's the way to memorize your string order in standard tuning. So let's go ahead and get started. The C chord. It's a very important chord because this chord is actually found and discovered in most popular hit songs. If you want to know how to make a great three chord, four chord jingle, well the C chord is likely going to be your best friend. So let's go ahead and make up that C chord. Something that you must remember when it comes to making the C shape is that it requires three fingers, which is a more advanced technique as compared to the one finger that was required to make your A chord. So with three fingers, you're going to need your index, your middle finger, and your ring finger. You're going to go ahead and place your fretting hand on the first three frets of your guitar. If you can learn to segment your learning, learning the guitar doesn't have to be such a lofty goal. It doesn't have to be something so huge that you cannot reach it. Learn to get your little wins every now and then by learning the next new chord. Eventually, you'll have an entire array of chords and knowledge on the guitar that will allow you to learn and create new songs. So get excited. This is the C shape. On the first fret, you're gonna go ahead and put your index finger on the B string of the first fret, which creates a C note. And then, with your middle finger, you're gonna place it on the D string of the second fret, which creates an E note. And then lastly, with your ring finger, you're gonna go ahead and place it on the third fret of the A string to make another C note. And then when you play them all together, we go ahead and make a C chord. What a beautiful balanced sound. The C chord, along with A minor, are two chords that are found in a lot of songs. The C chord and the A minor are actually in the same scale, the same minor scale, so that's for another lesson. But I want you to get excited about the C chord because the C chord opens up your whole world when it comes to learning new songs. I want you to go ahead and practice the strum pattern that we learned from the first lesson. The down, down, up, up, down. The way you practice that with your A chord, you can try practicing that with your C chord. So let's go ahead and start. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. The C chord, when it comes to the bar version of the C chord, you're gonna have to place your right index finger on that eighth fret. But that is for another lesson. However, it's just an idea to know that this is an open chord and then this C chord is a bar chord. If this is an A chord open chord, then the bar chord version of that A chord is here at the fifth fret. In the next lesson, we're gonna go a little more over the G chord and we're gonna learn about what makes the bar chord such a strong and bold chord and how you can utilize that and blend it with your open chords. That is an example of a G bar chord. Until next time.